Hi everybody, it's Susan Marshawn, the Techie Mentor. Thank you so much for stopping by this week for our blog on structured or unstructured. So I want to talk to those of you who have been an employee in the past, whether you're still an employee or have done uh, work as an employee somewhere in your lifetime and are now transitioning or have fully transitioned to becoming a, a virtual assistant. One of the biggest struggles I think most of us have, including myself, I am a former employee of over 20 years, is once you come home and start working for yourself, there's no structure, right? There's no handbooks, there's no guidelines, there's no managers, there's no supervisors, there's no set rules or guidelines for anything that you do. It's wide open. And for most of us, we're expecting somebody else to put those guidelines in place because as an employee, it's always been done for us. When we start a new job, for instance, our boss usually tells us, okay, you have to be at work at this time and you take lunch at this time and you go home at this time. Um, you do this type of work, you work with these type of people, so on and so forth. When you come home and start working for yourself, that doesn't happen. There is nobody to tell you exactly what it is that you need to do. So you have to put those guidelines in place, those, that structure in place that's missing. Now, if you don't do that, a lot of times your clients will try to do that for you because they are looking for the same structure as you. So one of the things I really recommend new VAs do is put that structure in place. The best way to start putting structure in place is obviously putting together what's called a business policies document. And this is basically a document that you give to your clients that tells you how you run your business. And I've talked about this in previous videos, but I think it's important because I get so many people coming to me saying, okay, well, you know, how do I manage my time and, and what do I do for this? And what if a client has a complaint? I hate to tell you this, but it's all up to you. As many of you have heard me say before, my mantra is your business, your choice. You have to figure all this stuff out for yourself. You have to figure what works best for your business. And by using a business policies document, that's going to start that whole process for you because it will help you start to put those guidelines in place. This also comes back to boundaries. Without structure, there's really no boundaries in place as to how you work with clients, how you work with your family, how you work with your friends. And I did an entire video on boundaries and I touch on the same topic. But I think what people don't understand, and this is, was me when I first started my business, was that I was lacking structure. I didn't see that that's what was lacking. Once I figured that out and figured out that I had to put all that in place, things kind of fell in place for me. One other thing is I get constantly asked about time management. And time management is so crucial for anybody that works for themselves. You really have to come up with a way to make sure that you're being the most productive and the most efficient with the time you're given. We're all given the same amount of hours. Nobody has more than anybody else. It's all what we do with that time. So I will be coming um, next week with a time management video blog, so be sure to look for that. But I wanted to touch today on those of you, again, who have been an employee or are an employee, that maybe part of the struggle that you're having is that you're lacking that structure. And a good way to get started is to look over that business policies. I do have a template on my website that you're welcome to take a look at. It has some ideas and structure already in place. You can certainly start with that, or you could just look at yourself and say, okay, what are the type, what's the type of structure I'm used to when I was working? And put that structure in place for you and your business and communicate that with your clients. So again, it's about boundaries, but it's also about structure. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment, leave me some comments or questions below. I'll make sure that I respond to each and every one of them because I do appreciate you taking time to watch this. If you're watching this on my website, please jump over to my YouTube channel and subscribe so you'll get noticed every time one of these great videos comes up. If you're in YouTube, make sure you check out my website at thetechieminner.com and take a look under the VA shop for my forms and templates. That's where you'll find the business policies document. Thank you so much and I'll see you next week. Bye.